can't stop me now I've got it all figured out, I'm headed straight for the top I'm gonna take what I want, nothing will stand in the way Give a fuck about the pain, my dreams will come true You're wrong, so fuck you Die in a blaze of glory, just like those gangster stories Blaze like I'm Bob Marley, I box the whole party Passing blunts, getting drunk, drop those beats I kick them flows, I sing the song, let it be Cause I'm self-destructive, my heart's erupting Let's just have a good time, while the whole world is fucked up People always talk Shit, someone always plays the bitch Go to war, go to bed, make money, praise the dead Cause it's all okay, it'll all be alright someday Happiness can't exist without pain Like love can't exist without hate That's why I gamble with fate I sing songs like a bird in a cage Cause it's all I can do with this rage And I won't apologize My name is John Dominguez I'm from Claremont, Southern California And I dr I'm an artist who draws in paper mate pen in the right corner you have my dog, and then in the left corner you have my grandfather, represented as the sun spirit. He was more like my father, you know, to me when I got out of home and when I was in it as well. And then uh, below him is my mother with a pill sticking out of her body, and she's stepping on a penis to show that, like, you know, even though men try to take advantage of her, you know, she she comes out on top, you know, sometimes literally. And then uh, my grandma in the right corner is floating away to heaven on a balloon because she has dementia. Yeah. I've always, I started drawing in pen actually when I was a little kid because uh, it, it was an opportunity to get away with drawing in class because it appeared I was taking notes. And then later on I was inspired by art I saw from a uh, uh, foster brothers when I was in foster care that they had received from relatives in jail and it was all done with ink and that motivated me to use a pen because it ha could capture a lot more like darkness. <laughs> Yeah, I just, um, I mean, part of me is, I'm, I'm just very comfortable in, in my bubble of drawing with only a pen in black and white, and so I'm kind of scared to step into color, and I also do not find it um, that interesting to use color. I, I do not find it fun to work in color. Alright, and then it's, this, this was like a five month project, it's all paper made. Yeah. Some of your paintings have the paper mate? Yeah, that one does. Oh, that one does come with me. I eventually when I get a tattoo, oh, I see like the color logo. Like, oh, you're going to have it like in your paper? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that one will be in three. Yeah, yeah, the fine point paper mate. I, I tend to see things. I mean, I've learned over the years to, to see that things aren't always black and white. I mean, there's a lot of shades in, in between. But I do tend to see things one way or the other, and it's probably perceived in my art, just as like, when I do draw myself in my artwork, prior to using actual photos, I tended to draw myself as very skinny and frail, um, almost meek. And I believe that's because inside I depicted myself as, um, I felt I was powerless in a way, so it reflected in my artwork. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, this is my stuff right here. So. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> well, where to begin? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in there. It's therapy. This is one of my earlier ones, one of my favorite. I did this in uh, 2004, actually. Some people, they draw skulls and stuff because, you know, we all have a fascination with death, and, like, a skull is just, you know, it's a human face stripped down to its barest. And. You know, so a lot of us tend to want to see people on that on that bone level. I mean, in one of my newer drawings, I have a self-portrait where there's a shadow person holding up a piece of paper, and it describes exactly how I want to die, and I've always thought it out of my head, so I wrote it down, like, if I had my choice, how I would die, you know, and how, like, the blood would leak out of my, like, bullet holes in my body, and as it leaked out, I'd feel like the air grow colder on a hot summer day because I was losing blood and my body was becoming frozen. Can we make that the whole group sales line too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to do another one where I know a uh, AC's back and I'm trying to like, get out of there.
Yeah, we have like that. Real sweet stuff. Wait, wait, there's like, it's just like snake. Yeah, like, and the snake is like empty. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the idea that, like, uh, everyone says how talented and great it is that I can use pen, but in reality, it's just like a, it's like a byproduct of um, how my lifestyle, me being taken away, gave me a sense of neglect, although it was my mother's fault, deep down, I feel like she abandoned me, and that sense of abandonment gave me this, uh, I mean, I was put into a situation that I had no idea what was going to happen, what was going to happen from day to day, where I would end up, as far as, like, whether I was going to come home or not. So I developed something that I did every day constantly, which was draw, because I, I needed something that had, gave me a sense of stability. So, I mean, just by practice, by repetition, I became good at using pen. And the only reason is because of uh, it's like an, a byproduct of my situation. Yeah, I think the Hispanic, like if I'm gonna do a, a, a drawing for like a, a Hispanic themed show, they all expect something more. Uh, they they want something you know more like pictures of Frida or like you know traditional Day of the Dead with bright colors and such. I mean they don't want a picture of my mom fucking a grasshopper or a lady chopped up and turned into a lollipop, you know, because it doesn't really fit the 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 stereotype of what's good. A lot of times, I mean, not all the dark stuff I do because it represents something sad and depressing. I just, in general, like to draw like evil shit, you know. Self-portrait. This is without you. And then for the scope, I have my pen. So if it wasn't for this, I, I would get in a lot more trouble. Here's like a new sketch I did. I mean, it's nothing big, but it's like a, like, Freddy Krueger, all like, Cholo style and shit. So yeah, I just did that yesterday. <laughs> 